I've got the Kodak Easy Share. It's a C182. It's an affordable but very powerful point shoot digital camera. Comes in red, blue, and I'm going to tell you all about it. these shiny Kodaks. These are actually the Easy Share. It's the C182. I got the blue one and the red one. And if you're looking for an affordable point shoot, very easy to use digital camera, this may just be the one for you. First of all, it's a 12.4 megapixel camera with a CCD sensor, 3x optical zoom, 4x digital. You have a three inch LCD screen. I was very impressed with this three inch LCD screen. I was out taking pictures and it was very, very easy to see my shot. And uh, I got everything I wanted out of this LCD right here. Also, you have 16 megs of internal storage, which is definitely not going to be enough. You're going to want to get an SD or an SDHC card. You can shoot movies on here in 640 by 480 resolution, which is really all you need if you're just uploading to Facebook and YouTube. Also, you can shoot in ISO 1000. So if you're having a problem, you know, with the lights, not the best situation, make sure to boost up your ISO. Also, you've got panorama on here. And it's cool. It's not just standard panorama. You can shoot left to right or right to left. You have a couple different options, which I liked. Also, you have smart capture mode. And listen, if you are a beginner and just, you know, want life to be simple, you want your camera to just take the shot, set it up for you, determine the best settings for your lighting situation, you're going to want to be on this smart capture mode. You also have face detection to make sure all of your faces come out clear and in focus. And you can shoot in three different color modes. So if you want to switch it up, get artsy, you can still do that with this camera. And you can shoot in black and white or in sepia. And to top it all off, this baby just needs two AA batteries and you are good to go on your way. So I'm going to give you the 360 tour of this Kodak C182. So let's start our tour by powering on. You'll see your power button is right here. And next to your power button, you will see your flash on and off. I like that dedicated button for the flash right up there on top. Right here, you have your shooting mode wheel. Let's turn it over, and you'll have your 3-inch LCD screen. Look at that LCD screen. Looks pretty nice, right? Got, uh, got plenty to work with here. All right, so moving along, you'll see you have your wide and your tight for your zoom, your trash. Right here, this is your menu, your eye for information or display. Moving down along, you have all of your selection keys and your OK in the middle, your share button, and your playback. And we'll turn it to the side right here, and you will see your mini USB port. And this is to hook up to your PC and load all of your photos or your videos onto your PC, and then ultimately on Facebook or YouTube or whatever site you prefer. And then let's power off really fast, and I'm going to go to the back right here. Let's open this and you will see your two AA batteries and above your two AA batteries you'll see your card slot for your SD or your SDHC card. Now let's power back on. There we go. And uh, let's go through all the different shooting modes. So right now we are in smart capture mode but you can also change to macro mode if you're shooting objects up close. Also sports mode and here you have your scene modes. And from scene modes, you can access your panorama shot. All right, what else do we have here? On the other side, you'll see we have movie mode. Again, you can shoot movies in VGA, 640 by 480. Right here, you're, you have your vibration reduction to make sure that you don't get any blur in your images. And last but not least, you have program mode. And when you're in program mode, all you have to do is click on your menu. And here you can change everything from your photo size to the exposure, your ISO speed, here's your long time exposure, and your self timer or if you want to do burst shot. You have color mode. Remember I, I was saying that you can shoot in several different colors, high color, sepia, there's black and white, low color, so you have a couple different options there. Your white balance controls, your focus mode, and face detection. We have face detection on right now. And it's really going to help make sure that everyone in your photo comes out nice and sharp looking. Here's your exposure metering, your AF zone, and as you can see, that is how you, you know, customize your photos and make sure you have all the settings that you want just by going right here into this menu button. Now let's go into playback and I'll show you some photos I shot earlier. All right, so right here you can see a picture of a tree, but let me go back. Okay, so here's the first shot of a tree. Nothing too fancy, 
But when I used that 3x zoom, I actually got in close, and you can really see the, the green come out. The colors really come out. All right, let's go on to our next shot right here. This I shot in, uh, in macro mode. Looks nice. And we'll continue. This is a panorama shot. I was actually doing left to right panorama. So it came out pretty good. So those are the pictures I took with this Kodak Easy Share. Again, this is the C182. Comes in blue, comes in red. And if you're looking for just an easy camera, you know, it is called the Easy Share for a reason. And it's also a great gift for the holidays coming up. And it's affordable, best of all. So check this one out. It's the Kodak Easy Share C182. I'm Sam, and we'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Kodak Easy Share C182, just visit com.pewter.tv and type in Kodak Easy Share C182. For Computer TV, I'm Sam.